Is Robbie Gold on the way? I got another name for you. Listen to what Kyle Shanahan said after Friday's we gotta, game. And we definitely got to have a plan B for week one. You know, Zane could have been that, but, I, you know, he's probably not going to be ready for week one, too, looking at what happened to him today. Quad injury for Moody. And then he says we probably got to have a plan B for week one because Zane Gonzalez hurt his calf in warm-ups Friday. So then hear the follow-up here about Robbie Gold. Do you have a question? Uh, is Robbie Gold a possibility? Um, I'm sure everyone's, everyone's a possibility, but that's stuff we haven't discussed yet. Is Robbie Gold a possibility? I'm sure everyone's a possibility. Unfortunately, there's not that many everyone's when it comes to kickers. And, um, you know, Robbie's having a good time golfing. We know Robbie, you know, the word is might be a little expensive. But, um, you know, they're holding out hope that Jake Moody is going to be back in time for week one. The, clearly, this is not the fake injury that I wondered if it was. This is a real injury for Jake Moody, so it's serious. But if you're going to sign Robbie Gold, you're not going to sign Robbie Gold to some minimum cut him. Robbie's going to want. You know, in theory, everyone thinks he wants like five million bucks. Now, maybe that changes. Maybe you get into a few weeks into the season, he wants four and a half. I don't know. You're going to have to uh, accommodate. I was texting with Middlecoff. He's like, well, as long as you can get Robbie a tea time at Pebble every day and let him skip practice, maybe Robbie will do it. But uh, this is a desperate situation for them. They drafted kickers. They didn't have to think about it. They got Zane Gonzalez to hedge, and they lost both guys. They didn't lose Moody today. It got announced on Friday. They lost both guys on Friday officially in warmups, San Gonzalez. It's crazy. So we, I think another name, I think a more likely name week one. I mean, Robbie makes a lot of sense. He's their guy, but it's a little weird if you bring Robbie in with Moody, you put Moody in an even tougher spot. If your plan is to let Moody kick his way out of his preseason struggles and you think he's almost healthy, then Robbie puts him in a weird spot because then it's Robbie's room again, room, whatever. It's Robbie's like Robbie's the kicker and you're the red shirt kid move over. We bailed on you. If you sign Randy Bullock, for example, um, he, in theory, he's cheaper. He's kind of like Robbie in that he doesn't have a powerful leg. Um, doesn't make kicks past 48 yards, but he was accurate last year. He didn't miss an extra point last year. Veteran guy, Tennessee cut him. They saved like 2 million bucks to cut him. So, you know, Randy might be in demand within the next two weeks. But to me, Randy Bullock might – Robbie is tailor-made in a lot of ways, except he makes it weird for Moody if you're concerned about making it weird for Moody. If you think, yeah, Moody will be our kicker, maybe week one, maybe week two, then maybe a cheaper and less weird option is Randy Bullock. But I know everyone is going to say they want Robbie Gold, and I understand it. And if he was cheaper, he'd still be on the 49ers. But they had to go cheaper. They had to save money. Look, part of the Trey Lance deal was money. Part of this thing is going to be money. But, you know, I, I, I wonder with those considerations, if that guy's more of a, a real possibility than Robbie. But it's possible that Randy Bullock's too expensive for them. We'll see. Moody not being healthy, uh, even if he's back by week one, you would have liked him to have gotten two weeks of being able to kick in Levi Stadium um, and prepare for Pittsburgh. So even if he's healthy, it's weird. You, you wanted him to kick Friday night, make a couple kicks, get a little confidence, and um, feel good heading into this next week and a half before the season begins. He's not going to get that. Even if he's healthy, he's not going to get that. So uh, they're going to have to get somebody. That's what he said. Maybe Randy's too expensive, but – Whoever it is might be lining up to try and beat the Steelers in two weeks, and that's pretty crazy. What a mess.